Opening day at a brand new baseball stadium, Provident Bank Park here in Rockland County. And I'm here with the president, Ken Lehner. Good to meet you, Ken. Nice to meet you, too. Thanks for coming. All right. Tell me what's going on here today. Everything is going on. We've been working on this project for the past 18 months, and it's all going to come to fruition this evening. I've been looking at this ballpark every day since it came out of the ground, and now to be able to see it and envision it with people in the seats, that's the greatest thing to me, that this, this ballpark is going to fill up with fans. Provident Bank Park is now home to the Rockland Boulders in Pomona, New York. It's a member of the Canadian American Association of Professional Baseball, also known as the Can-Am League. We probably were contacted by upwards of a thousand, and I am not kidding, a thousand players, agents, you know, free agents, et cetera, et cetera, that wanted to come play here, and at the end of the day, we only take 24 players. Really being the first ones to really be in here, it really means a lot to us, and I know it's going to mean a lot to the community once everybody sees how nice it is, and hopefully we can put a good product on the field for everybody to enjoy. The Rockland Boulder's new home, Provident Bank Park, features 4,500 fixed seats, 16 luxury and loge boxes, it's 323 feet from home to left field, 383 feet in the gaps, 403 feet to center, and 313 feet to the right field wall. This stadium has a great feature where you can walk entirely around the stadium and see the entire stadium, and everybody in every seat will have a great view of the entire game. The goal was to create neighborhoods. So we have a 360 degree concourse that goes all the way around. We have Boulderburg in one corner for the kids. We have a nice sports bar in the other corner for the adults. And in between, we have the short porch and the billboard monster. The brand new Sony High Definition scoreboard is 34 by 52 feet and there is a 75 foot ribbon signboard which scrolls stats, scores and information. I mean literally at one point we were sitting down in a meeting with Sony and you know we're looking at all this equipment and machinery and all these different things and, and they said you're going to have a, a, as nice of a scoreboard and control room as Yankee Stadium. I'm like really? And it's not all lights and razzmatazz. Features like the Dugout of Dreams provides fans with an exact replica of the team dugout at field level with the same vantage point the players have. You get any foods, whatever you want. You get your personal bathroom, just like you just get anything you want. We're going to also unveil tonight the Rockland Roll. That's the name of our spirit and dance team. Please welcome for the first time the Rockland Roll Best Team. So other than the team players, it's the PA announcer's job to keep these people entertained. What do you see in store for the season coming up? Well, we have a lot of things planned for the fans. It's not just the PA announcer. I'm, uh, in a lot of ways, just background noise to try to set the atmosphere. But we have an in-game host. And it actually turns out that a project of this magnitude could be great for the entire community. In the building process, there was upwards of 400 uh, workers here every day. We have upwards of 200 people a game that will have to help run this facility. We're talking about jobs. We're talking about the fact that the Rock and Boulders are going to spend millions of dollars in this community with local businesses in order for us to continue to do business. The fans and soon-to-be fans are really going to love this stadium, not only because of the affordability of tickets, food and souvenirs, but because of the accessibility to the community as a whole. The minor leagues are very family oriented and that's what I love about the minor leagues is the fact that it's for, it's for the family, it's a nice wholesome evening, they have activities for the kids all night. Is this, is this stadium basically in your backyard? Yeah, a little. What's that like? Having a baseball stadium in your backyard? Uh, it feels awesome. It's not just baseball will be played here. People have a community asset here that is tremendous. It's not only going to be our home field, but there's going to be college teams that play here. There will be concerts here. There will be auto shows that will be here. And so it's really a jewel in the community that stretches not only in Rockland, but we, we truly believe it's a destination. From the Valley of the Hudson to the nation of the Ramapo for generations to come. And this really does embody the American spirit, that enduring American spirit. And this park uh, now belongs to all the people here in this town and this great, great nation.